Hello, my name is Alex and I am the host of How Bizarre Podcast and this is episode 26 of the series. Hopefully you'll like it and the show will make some traction in the time ahead. So, what is this podcast about? It's about storytelling and especially about stories that are obscure, unknown to the wider public, strange and sometimes inexplicable, content that somehow never got the attention it deserved, stories that are forgotten in the mists of time regardless if they happened yesterday or some centuries ago. So if you are attracted to bizarre, shocking or just plainly weird stuff, I think you'll find this podcast very informative and perhaps even entertaining. This podcast is for mature audiences and listener discretion is advised. All that being said, now let us dive into the 26th episode of How Bizarre Podcast. This being 25th episode, it represents a small jubilee that I am low-key proud of, never mind the lack of listeners until today. This episode is named The Legend of Harry Roberts. Many years ago, upon watching English Football League I have heard the supporters of one of the teams chant Harry Roberts is our friend, he kills coppers. As bit as strange and bizarre as it sounded, I wanted to know if there was, or still is such a person and indeed, if he killed policemen. The history of British crime is rich with personalities who, with their crimes, secured their place among pseudo-legends, semi-myths and local folklore. From Robin Hood to Ronnie Biggs, among the multitude of colorful characters, our maid Harry stands out. So who is this man? Not much is known about Harry's early life except that it was unexceptional and ridden with petty crime and theft. Harry Roberts was a petty criminal from the London Underground who entered history just a month after England's World Cup title in 1966. Jeff Hurst scored a hat-trick in the final and secured a victory. Harry on the other hand, shot his Luger semi-automatic pistol several times and he accurately shot uniformed persons. Three such people in a police carpet rolled around Wormwood Scrubs Prison in London. Driving around with not much to do but annoy other people, the three law enforcement officers spotted a parked van with what they thought were three suspicious persons inside. And worst of all, the van did not have a sticker for paid registration. Apparently shocked and shaken by the perceived crime, the uniformed coppers immediately proceeded to identify the three people in the van. With later stories surfacing it was said that the van was parked near the prison in order to provide transportation for a prison escape and thus being a starting point for the myths of few brave lawmen, supposedly preventing a prison break. That was needed in order to avoid the dry banality of the situation. There's no heroism in dying for checking an unregistered vehicle, is there? The aforementioned banality of violent toll collection mixed with excuses concocted by the van driver was interrupted by a shot from a 9mm Luger and a direct hit to the eye of a policeman killing him on the spot. The second legal thug tried to escape to his car but was stopped by two shots from Harry Roberts, the second of which ended up in the victim's head. The shocked third copper who remained in his vehicle tried to start the car and escape. But Harry was faster and with four shots of whom one in the head the third keeper of registration plates and associated stickers was dead. Harry and his company of two others fled the scene around Shepherd's Bush and hid themselves in different places. After three months of massive manhunt, Harry was caught and, according to the case, he did not receive the death penalty, which was abolished only a few months before the event but he was sentenced to 30 to life, the second most severe sentence in British justice after the whole life dareth. Such sentence as reserved for the foremost of criminals, example being the Yorkshire butcher who is still serving his sentence and will never get out. The media and the official narrative tried to give the story a heroic spin in which the thugs are heroes and Harry is a maniac, but miraculously, after some time, The song Our Mate Harry began to be sung among the people, which with its lyrics sends an unequivocal, albeit unpleasant, 
message that nobody likes the police. Harry Roberts is our friend is our friend is our friend. Harry Roberts is our friend. He kills coppers. This expression of urban folk creativity is sung even today, less often in pubs and more often in the stands of football stadiums, which in themselves have always been a microcosm of society. The question remains as to why Harry did it. Maybe because of unresolved accounts with thugs, maybe because of traumas from Kenya where he was sent as a late colonial soldier, maybe he just hated the state racket, and maybe only Harry knows. Finally, it should be noted that Harry did not serve 30 years but 48 and was finally released in 2014 at a time when England recorded the worst result at the Football World Cup. Wayne Rooney is not Jeff Hurst and America is not Wembley. Needless to say, the release from prison was met with a split in public opinion, from utter dismay at the event to celebration among certain circles of London society. Harry is still alive and well being 86 years old at the moment. I hope you all liked episode 26 of this podcast. Thank you so kindly for listening, and I will be back next time for episode 27 of the How Bizarre Podcast. If you enjoyed this episode, please consider liking, sharing, and above all, subscribe to this channel dear listener. Because, why not? Join me next time for another bizarre adventure through space and time. Cheerio.